Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 12 rounds of action for the WBF Intercontinental 2 Featherweight Title Fight. And we start first with the challenger. He answers the bell from the blue corner. He wears the tiger colors. He weighed in at 55.15 kilograms. His record as a boxer. 21 contested fights with 14 wins. Five of those wins coming by knockout. Six losses, one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former IBF Continental Africa Junior Featherweight Champion, the former South African Junior Featherweight Champion, all the way from KwaZulu Natal, here is Innocent Tycoon Mantengu. And Middleback, he faces this man who answers the bell from the red corner. He walked into the ring wearing white, gold, silver trunks. He weighed in at 54.95 kilograms. His professional fight record, 18 contested fights with 10 wins. Eight of those wins coming via the short route, five losses, three draws. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former WBF African Junior Featherweight Champion and the current reigning, defending WBF Intercontinental Junior Featherweight Champion and these two boxers are meeting for a record third time. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the champion, Tato Captain Charisma Bunukwani. Boxers. Tato Abuno makes the first defense of his WPF intercontinental title against innocent Manteng. These two fighters met Kahiso in their first fight, which was unfortunately scored a draw. They met for the second time for the vacant South African title. Innocent Manteng walked away with the belt. It's their third encounter, and this time they are fighting for Bunokwane's title. He won it last year in December, stopping Tolumusa Ngema in Peter Marisbeck. A lot was said prior to this fight. These two boxers promising to do this and that to each other. Today is the day for them to transfer into action what they said in the build-up to this fight. Since both boxers are meeting for the third time, uh, each one knows what to expect from them, and they are very cautious at the moment. Next. So at the moment they are checking, checking what to do next.
Innocent Mantem from Tuba Tuba Pants in Zulu Natal, Uko Zengwe Neng Quenyama, Ganti Utato Bunogwan as well in white blue. Franks from Kahiso, they call him Captain Charisma Ganti U Mantengu, Abamazi Obati, the tycoon. Innocent Mantengu trained in Johannesburg by his home boy. Sam Kajeni, Umfogandlov, a former professional boxer, Gandhi. Tato Bunogwa is under the guidance of Charity Mukondeleli, also a former professional boxer. What does that mean? It means that these boxers are trained by people who know and understand this sport. Therefore, we expect a clean fight, no fouls or less fouls. But most importantly, it must be entertaining to all these masses who paid their last pennies and attended this tournament. It's for that reason that MPF is a It's a Chess bench touches the move. Say in the in the uh, twelve rounds. I beg your pardon. Twelve rounds, yes. So we say six saying in Shambe, we say less to learn Sako, a kaya no ma guyo, le hole, siguyo, umange, loguti, gungani, lanes, iswa, zinga, tati, limpiazo, the pace, a sheshai. Ta, he say in the in the la, you may outbox yourself. At a kupuga ama rounds, e energy is gone. Unless, of course, the intention, Gube Uguti, I want to win by a knockout. That takes a, a toll, uh, Lawrence. Indo ta imi le ifi tiganje uti wena uzo velowi no ke ila le pege pezul. Wena gunja halo. The one who maintain is standing on a south Boston. Go. Yeah, so what laws are it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. No, my video on my box, I come back with this video in school. Our, our man, I say, no, my ganja, no, my good. Innocent man, they fighting from a south post stance. We should remember my in LA. His first punch port is a straight hand jab. Kanti Utato Bunokwan, the Orthodox, so that we should his first fight, his first punch forward is a left hand jab. Ageko Ofuna Ukomita. This is what happens with boxers who have fought against each other for more than once because they know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Therefore, fight fans get robbed of what should be an exciting fight. Omavili Lama Poxa, Missino, Tisha Vialinga. The height is a violin on the foot. So, who can say that no money is in it? No Tato is the one initiating 
most of the time. But the law, which I legally, I'm a, I'm a South Pole most of the time. I a counterpart. Referee Eddie Marshall quickly jumps and, and calls the boxers to fight because boxers tend to spend more than the time allocated or offered to them, which is a minute in the corner. Tato of Noko understanding with his guards down on his knees. Asazi says the Uze Temba Noma. Uhalisela umanteng um Zimbawake. Pese es bona uutim shambe ukona and agwenza chikelizim bile datu. And catch him we counter. By bizabati it's to tantalize. Umantengu nina bengosi. A punch landed, but he was off balance. And the referee did not give account mokucabanga kwami uThato ngokwehlisa izandla uyamthenga uma dinga ukuthi akeze bese kwazo khona ukuthi agadle ngezandla eh ngamagalelo abhlungu kakhulu Tato Bunokwana shows confidence. And also, the impression he is giving is that he is not scared at all of Umandengu based on the fact that he drops his guards to his knees. Pela Umandengu can respond with swift punches, but Utato being a boxer who is able to use his lateral movements, upper body, and also sharp eyesight, is for that reason that he is able to do what he does and gets away with it. Mantengu has not been, has not been successful in what he does. Two's punch is very clumsy. He, need, he must still be polished. In terms of polishing his skills. I I say Katato yet a list of a full Ama Pasca Matin, Wabona Cesar, it Ama reflexes that are to I a list of Second out, round number 
This is becoming an untidy affair. Really. The part two man came in another course. You can't do this. Tabela. Sake u. Chato bno kwana. Why why you fuma pansi. Nangage. It wasn't the effect or the impact of the punch that put him down was the fact that he caught him off balance and also the fact that Uman Teng is always up in the air so it's easy for such a boxer to go down even when touched by a punch that doesn't carry power The mostly inside. And uh, fight my lapo, push foot. I rabbit punch Utato. It's becoming an untidy affair. Those of us who are not trained judges would find this one very difficult to score. They I don't know whether they want to keep it in the pocket. Based on the closeness, but few punches are traded only now that they are actually letting their hands go. Mantengo on the back foot, Tato Obunokwane, forcing the pace. When I was a parati most of the time, and then Kota, when I was a parati, Tato. We have enjoyed a good long apparatus and no matter what we are put a leg out with a parade. Utato Alwakai, we have pushed up with the Abing apparatus. Agulula ugu shogu to Bano Pambi. He very close in the fight. For the first time, Logi fight Kali will initiate our mantem. All the time they will initiate our tattoo. Boom way or retaliate our mantem. What a magic. Way or a shogu was a guy.
Every... This, is, this fight has degenerated to some form of a sparring session. It is failing to live up to the midweek hype, really. Every now and then, Utato is dropping his hand. Although Ekista uh, is under, Mantengu is unable to land on target. I said, Tim, the good thing, let me do this one as I was a paramisa pace. I got to come back with Lamba, good to have fun a little. Babambe and Maja. Bravery is doing a fantastic job. When he is a distance, a Ramanga in the line, a box, a line. Every now and then, he's under the safety. First, why you lending this? Your good nature, skill. It's all end up because. I my skill, I talent, especially outside in Lake Utato Bunokwan. The only thing that needs to happen is one of these boxers must decide who to take the fight to the opponent, hit him hard, to trigger the action because Konamanje, we are going for. The sixth round, except for the fact that Mantengu went down from that punch, nothing really spectacular has happened. They're trying to play it safe, but it won't help either of the two. Obama round I am where I am pale. I get a call of like a combo with your iPhone. It's round six. It's halfway mark, round six. It looks like something is happening in terms of the boxers hitting the target not just letting go their hands with no intention at all to hit each other Tato Bunokwana extricates himself beautifully against the rope using his bobbing and weaving stance which is another form of defense in the sport of boxing Innocent Mandengo had the opportunity to make up For a point he lost in the fourth round when Mantengo, when I beg your pardon, Tato Bunrukwane stood against rope and literally stopped fighting. But Mantengo failed to take advantage of that situation. Referee Eddie Marshall gives these boxers room and space to express themselves. He's not trying to take the limelight away from them. He's actually far away from the action. But when that one moment calls for him, 
to act or to do some work he is quickly there and before you know it is out of action giving them my tips and advices on what to do one wonders ukuthi kambe uyezwa yini uma umenyezwa uyibox awuse ring in particularly in a situation where it looks like isinto are not going well for you your opponent ukufakisibanga Tato Bunokwani misses with a well-timed uppercut as Innocent Manteng was throwing himself at him. Luckily, it went whooshing. Centimeters. J from the chin. Otherwise, we would be talking something different right now. These two boxers are busy. I don't know busy doing what because Omunye Ushaya an open glove. The other one is missing with all his punches. But when you look at the action from the outside, you see very busy fighters. I must say, I, I am disappointed, really. Good morning, Ebenu Expectile. Icon. You can see good team. There is energy wasted, but there is no hectare. When I buy a service, I got that with big loot. It's becoming a wrestling match now. This generation to Pelilong Zulsuanu in the back of the 
Very confusing. The bell did not sound loud enough for these two fighters, Uguti Baizu. That is why Ite Urefri Uma Engena in between them, Evashuganisa, you could read the confusion because they had not had a ring, Noma, a bell sound. Tato Bunogwana gets caught and he holds on for dear life. Very strange because he's keeping his guards up. But Manteng was able Uguti Ashai Ispagela City go through that wall defense yake U Bunogwana. You mustn't be misled by the fact that they've won more than one international title. No. Say in the England, very raw. In terms of the ring IQ skill, Tato Gunokwana is superior, but again, throwing one punch once after 100 years doesn't help solve the problem. Utato has just connected with a beautiful left and right combinations, driving him backwards to the ropes. But he just stood in the middle of the ring and looked at him as if he was wondering as to why is this guy doing this. Instead of taking advantage of that, you hit the man because you want him to fall. Now when the opportunity presents itself, he just stands in the middle of the ring. He doesn't follow up. Something would have happened had Tato Bunokwan followed up after landing with that one-two combo. tournament started at a very high note boxers early in the fights gave their best they fought honestly and the fans loved it now we are in a situation where veterans are fighting you expect wonders instead it's becoming the direct opposite Round number nine, 
scheduled for 12 rounds. WPF Intercontinental title. The champion is Tato Captain Charisma Bunogwana, who's wearing white and blue trunks. The challenger, Umantengu, wearing leopard skin. It's the third meeting between these two fighters. Tato is yet to win against Mantengu. Mantengu won one of their two fights. The first one being declared a draw. Beautiful, well executed punches by Tato Obunogwan. We said it skillfully, he's the superior boxer. But I don't know what will take for him to actually take his craft seriously. Innocent Mandeng on the offensive, Nina Bengosi, trying his best under difficult circumstances. And his best is not good enough to earn him armor points because he is missing with most of his punches. Also, Mandeng needs to go back to the throwing board. Bamfundi said to hit with a knuckle Ushaya and Gembama such punches in other countries will get a boxer disqualified especially if that boxer has been warned several times to stop hitting with an open glove more to go either a new champion will be crowned or Tato Bunogwana will retain his belt that will be decided by Simon Mukadi, David Van Venezen and Pumezas Nagida only if the fight goes the full distance There we go again, Tato Bunokwana showing off his beautiful skills and the ability to use his upper body movement. But again, he doesn't make his men pay. Makes him miss, he doesn't make him pay. I'm 
I can count about 15 punches thrown by innocent Manteng. None of those punches landed. Tato Wunokwana using his upper body beautifully, making him miss, but he doesn't punish him in the return. Now, the question is, you don't know what exactly are the judges saying in this situation, because some judges like a boxer who is busy throwing volumes of punches whether they land or not is a different story others prefer a boxer who throw few punches but accurate it will be interesting to see what happens in this fight should it go the distance because it looks like it's going to go the distance because from an untrained eye, it is a very difficult fight to score. Because he went down in round four. He lost that round by two points. It was scored 10-8. So from that round onwards, he needed to up his ante to try and make up for that point. Has he done that? We don't know. We will find out. Unfortunately, Ipagelazake, as he told the Indao, Utato Bunokwan, Osebenzisa, his upper body movement beautifully to make him miss. Beautiful exchanges coming from either fighter. Yes, moment. I will give him credit for trying. He is trying. He may not be successful in all his punches, but he's trying. Tato Bunokwan needs 
to do something because he can he seems too relaxed taking forever before he throws a punch whereas innocent mantengu is busy although like we said not all his punches are landing which was the penultimate round we're going for the 12th and the final round of this wbf intercontinental tuna featherweight title fight between the defending champion tato captain charisma bunokwane from kafiso west rent and innocent tycoon mantengu from tuba tuba in zulu natal second out this is third and final round boxers shaking the last round Gonke Onago said Dinga Ukipe because our second Munyum Zuswano Osala Dela Can these two boxers give these people who paid their money its worth? Gabalue Bashaya Neglum Zuswano Okina because they did not do that. Innocent man, ten in a because he's slow. City, we are Zam. He is a trier. Unespeed, I guess, because he takes a man to do what he's doing, particularly a clever box against a clever boxer like Utato Bunogwan. We are Zam, or Mantang, one in a Bengosi. To make this a fight, he's up against a very clever boxer in Tato Bunokwan. But the unfortunate thing, Gaya Utato Bunokwan, is that tonight he was unable to do what he did against Umfundis Gemma a bit of respect when he won this title he seems troubled right now we are Balega Nina Bengosi Utato Bunokwa Nebese Ebamba Ikona Lento Aizwine Amanda Gamantengu no mam be isi pagela esi sale and daweni tile tato bunokwana is stop fighting instead is on the bicycle bese eba kulma na wenje bayata andana la bafana yi ingu wanzi zeta andani babambe ne Ganti, they are inside the ring to fight. Pelilom Zulsuano and Abengosi Oku Gowe Shumi Nambili. Twelfth round. It's been 
a difficult fight to score. Mantengu trying, taking action to Tato Bunogwana. Tato Bunogwana, stylish, taking forever before he throws a punch. But when he did that, he did that wonderfully. Too many punches came from innocent Mantengu. Few but accurate punches, clean, came from Tato, the captain, Charisma Bunogwana. Similar in the logos or would the Amachachi Aibone Ganjani Lempi. But in our unofficial scorecard, we just want to say we feel that Tato Bunokwane did enough to retain his title. But we are not the judges. Simon Mukadi, David Van Evenezen, and Pumeza Zinagile were tasked with scoring this fight and it's only them who will tell us exactly who deserves to walk away with this WPF Intercontinental title. The president of the WBF, Howard Goldberg, a former referee and judge, Usepagati ring in Nepande, Kantinayo Jacob Nisi, the promoter, who gave Utato Wunokwane the opportunity to defend his title against Umantengu, is inside the ring, and uh, Sipo Mashiko has got the official scorecard, what is remaining is for him to read it to us. Thanks to our commentary team of Bongani Makasela and Lawrence Ngobeni, and ladies and gentlemen, what a fight. Let's give the two boxers a big round of applause. This bout was for the WBF Intercontinental Junior featherweight title. It was scheduled for 12 rounds and it went 12 rounds. And we have a unanimous decision, point decision. Who will win this one? And we go to the judges' scorecards. The first of our three judges, Simon Mukadi, scores the contest one, one, zero to 117 our second judge Pumeza Zinakile sees it at 112 to 115 and Mpumalanga our third and final judge David van Nivenhuizen sees the contest at one 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 to one one six all in favor of your winner by unanimous point decision and still the wdf intercontinental junior featherweight champion Tato Captain Charisma Bunukwan
Immobile ni na benkosi lempi utato kuno kwani retaining his and the chairman of J for Joy Fox Intercontinental Jacob Nisi hands over the belt to the champion with a congratulations points decision Tato kuno kwani Captain Charisma Mobile Lembi Utacho Bunokwana registered in the first defense of his title. He won in Peter Maritz. If we are to look at the three fights these guys have, it's even. Tacho Bunokwana wins tonight. Kanti Innocent Manteng won the second one. The very first one was scored eight draw. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to the next bout. We go to the next bout. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.